Hello, this is Emily with your Monday meditation. So I have two evergreen shrubs in front of my house. And when I moved in nine years ago, these were newly planted and only about three feet tall. Each year they've grown. I've trimmed here and there over the years, but when I pulled up into my driveway about a month ago, I realized these bushes had gotten completely overgrown. So this weekend, I got out the electric hedge trimmer, my pruning shears, and finally a hacksaw to tackle these overgrown bushes. The result was dramatic, and honestly, it doesn't look that great right now. But with time, the bush will fill in and it will look much better. This experience got me thinking about other things in our life that can become overgrown without us even realizing it. The Bible is full of references to gardens, plants, and particularly the image of God as a gardener. Pruning is part of gardening. Sometimes the pruning needs to be severe in order to promote good growth. We undergo pruning in our spiritual life as well. Maybe there's something in your life that has grown out of proportion and needs to be trimmed back. Or maybe a more severe pruning is necessary to shape a healthy spiritual life. Maybe there's something that needs to be cut out of your life to allow something else to grow. These times of pruning, whether they're done in our own hands or it's out of our control, these are challenging times as we try to promote healthy growth. So is it time to prune something in your life? Let's pray about it. Lord God, guide us. If there's something in our life that is overgrown, help us to prune it. Lead us in ways that promote the healthy growth of ourselves, our spirits, and those around us. Amen.